Shade is back with another topic. Another topic many of you complain about, and which is having two, three, four kills, but I still die and I'm not making any profit. Well, uh, let's talk about the facts and then let's talk about the solution. So, in Arena Breakout, every single gunfight is similar to a coin flip. Like, even if you're very good at the game, even if you have a good device and you can aim, it's not guaranteed that you are going to be the one staying alive. So you have one kill, and then if you want to survive and want to do more PvP, then in the second find, you also need to perform well, and in the third one, again and again. This is why it's not that often that it happens that you have five kills, juicy loot, and you extract. There are some professional players, like to name some of them, Said, Monarch, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they can do that, but um, it's not a common thing. For most of us, if we win two of the fights, then, then even that is against the odds, because 50-50 means that even if you win the first one, you eventually gonna die in the second or in the third one. So that's a fact. Um, we all try to become better in the game and I think we all improve over time but as we improve our enemies you guys everybody who is playing the game everybody is improving and getting better in the game and by gunfights I don't mean fights like this where somebody is just standing there I mean fights where you actually face someone who you see and they also see you and then you fight each other like pretty much makes sense right so that's that's the that's that's the fact part. Um, how how to how to solve this? And um, without instantly revealing the the like, solution, um, this game I have on screen is pretty much like a good example on how to solve it. It wasn't like fully intentional because the plan always changes as we go. And by the way, I found the golden lion here. I almost forgot about that free save. And there was a team, my teammates were around, but then, you know, I just went back and opened it randomly and like, oh my god, uh, G Lion. So don't forget to open the saves, even if it's uh, free, because, you know, you can have nice loot. And this is um, Baby Station. I love that. I got a comment, somebody saying that, don't play Baby Station, go and play Forbidden. So this is the 30k version, you still can find um, 30k items. But back to the original topic. So how to avoid dying after having two or three kills. And my best recommendation, like the best advice I can give you is to play slowly. And you are like, oh my God, Shady, that's it. Playing it slowly. But let me, let me explain, let me guide you through. And I, I had the second kill here, by the way. I think it was a pretty nice rush. And one of my teammates died. And then the other one was also knocked. I know I knew that there's an enemy still around. But hey, I wanted to be a nice guy. So I at least um, revived one of them. So you're going to say, play it slowly. What does it mean? Should I, you know, camp in the corner and rat? No, I'm not saying that, but... When the game begins, especially on TV station, it's very easy to die because there are multiple teams, many players around. And if you reveal yourself, if you push, if you like expose your position, then the likeliness of getting into a fight and getting killed is going to be much higher unless you have got skills and you'll just <laughs> headshot everybody. But um, most likely that's not going to happen. So by taking your time, I mean that like stay low. You know, if you face somebody, do the kill. But if you already have one or two kills and you don't really want to extract yet, then don't like run around on the map. Start like opening saves. I, I was trying to hack this save, but it didn't work. Usually in this save, I don't find red items. But try to stay low. Try to like not to be the person revealing and giving away your position so that others understand where you are. Instead, you know, try to be, you know, a bit in the dark, in the, in the, in the shadows. Try to be shady. And, and, um, and with that, 
basically you can ensure that as the time goes by players keep dying and you are still alive at the end you're gonna have most likely just one team or two teams or a couple of players so you don't need to face the full lobby that's that's what i'm trying to say you don't need to kill everybody who is in the lobby because if team a um, destroys team B and then team C destroys team B then you're gonna still have all of the loot and at the end it's just one or two players who you need to kill and look at that um, four minutes remaining and I knew that there's one guy still around and one of my teammates killed his teammate so it was one versus one the final fight whoever wins this is gonna clear the lobby this was a nice kill, by the way. He didn't know, he, he had no clue that I'm gonna climb on that box. So I, I love this moment, by the way. And that's what I'm trying to say. I had three minutes on the clock. And if you check Sade and especially Sade and also Zachfrax, many of them are extracting at the very end. They are taking their time. They are not extracting at 20 minutes or such. And because of that, you know, many players are already gonna be dead. So you, you cannot win every single fight. You need to pick your fights and then win the right fights. Because let others do the killing. Keep yourself alive. Don't put yourself into danger in the first like 10 minutes unless it's necessary. And then, then try to like check where the enemies are and then do one kill, two kills, pick up everything and then extract. It's that easy. It's that freaking easy. I had hundreds of games where I thought that I'm gonna push, push at the beginning and clear the lobby and then I died. And then I reminded myself that Shady, you need to play it slowly. And in most of the games where I was extracting with 500,000 or more, you know, the timer was down to two minutes, five minutes, so late game. Go for the late game, keep yourself alive, go for the late game. If you have one kill near the end, you're gonna be very rich because that guy already looted somebody who already looted somebody who already looted somebody and all of that stuff is gonna be yours. That's it, it's that freaking easy. Late game, shoot, loot, subscribe and see you in the next one. Happy gaming, Shady out. Bye.